Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out this video. And today we're going to have a little PSA, a public service announcement. That's very important. And it's about the most important piece of equipment that you should have as a street photographer. What is the number one piece of equipment that you need? And it is a solid, good pair of shoes. And to go along with that, orthotics, so 1A and 1B. And I learned this lesson the hard way, of course, as you do most things in life. Um, when I went out west um, around Thanksgiving of last year, so just about, just over two months ago, um, I did a lot of street photography. I stopped in Salt Lake City on my way out and I did street photography there for about almost three hours. I stopped in Reno and did a couple hours. And then I did a lot in San Francisco, which is where my mom lives, and who I was visiting over Thanksgiving. And so, I ended up developing a pretty good case of plantar fasciitis and I have not been able to no jogging whatsoever which is if you know my channel if you've seen me before I probably mentioned I was a high school and college cross country and track athlete and I still try to jog you know two to three days a week and that was definitely out the window if you've ever had plantar fasciitis you know it is a very slow healing process and I didn't even recognize I had that until probably two or three weeks after I came back I just thought it was something that would go away and I wasn't really taking care of it and so since I've been back from San Francisco I've done zero street photography I haven't done any jogging um, you know as a real estate photographer some days are harder than others if I'm on my feet a lot um, and so it, it's been tough. I'm slowly getting better. Um, I, my, the pain doesn't increase in my foot until later and later in the day. So, um, but I made the mistake of, I did have two pairs of shoes that I brought out with me, but I didn't have very good orthotics. So even though my shoes were good, the orthotics were not giving me enough support. So I'm gonna show you the shoes that I currently have and use, talk about them and some orthotics and things like that. Um, especially if you're gonna do street photography, you know, it's something you're gonna be on your feet doing, you know, a couple times a week, you're gonna be doing hours a week, just consistently doing this. So what I normally use, these, this is kind of like my work shoe as well. I have these Skechers. These are called um, Go Walk, and they're really comfy. They're very light, um, and they, they fit like a glove. They're fantastic. The only issue with them is that they come st um, standard with these um, orthotics that are just paper thin, and there's no arch support, and that's like the first thing. I And I'm trying to remember when I came back from San Francisco, first thing I did was replace the orthotics because these did nothing for me. And these are the these are the primary shoes and orthotics that I, you know, have been wearing since I've been doing street photography um, this year. You know, I've been doing street photography for a few years, but since I got these shoes, this is what I've been wearing to hit the streets and, and do my job as a real estate photographer. And they're great. The orthotics are awful though. And so I took those out to San Francisco. And then the other shoe I took was my, just my normal running shoes. So the shoe that I jog in. These are just, and this varies. Um, these are um, Sacconis, but sometimes I'll have Nikes or um, Adidas or whatever, just depends. And I don't do a lot of jogging, so I don't need like $200 shoes or anything. But I took the orthotics out of those and I had like these basic red ones here that are a little bit better. They have a little bit more arch support. Um, they have a heel pad on the bottom, um, but the shoe isn't quite as comfortable as the Skechers. And so, um, I just do, the, these are what killed me in San Francisco were these orthotics. And so when I came back and I identified that I had plantar fasciitis, I ended up going with these Dr. Scholl's specific orthotics made for plantar fasciitis and they have a really nice arch support. I have kind of a, not a super high arch, I'm definitely not flat footed. Um, so it, it's got a great arch support. It also has this heel pad where it's kind of more cushiony in the middle. So there's less pressure on that heel. So that has definitely helped on my road to recovery. So these are crucial. Like if you're a street photographer, you're gonna be on your feet a lot, you're gonna be walking around a lot. A lot of times, obviously, you're walking on the sidewalk or in the streets or whatever. 
uh, you're walking on concrete or asphalt or whatever it's really unforgiving some of the hardest surfaces known to man and you're walking on that so you need to have a good invest in a good solid pair of walking and or running shoes and I recommend like if you're gonna do, if you're gonna walk a lot if you're doing a lot of it something that I did in college as an athlete is that I actually had two pairs of training shoes and this was something my uh, college coach actually advised that we do I had sort of a main pair that I wore on workout days and race days and then I had a secondary pair that I would use just when we were going out for a jog and they were two different brand names you know he recommended so I had a Nike I had a Nike pair and then I had like an Adidas and they just helped move the foot around a little differently now if you're switching orthotics and you're just using the same orthotics maybe it might not have the same benefit but it certainly wouldn't hurt to have two different pairs of shoes and maybe you just alternate um, you know depending on the day you're going out to shoot or whatever so I, I believe I've had plantar fasciitis before if you've ever had it before you know what I'm going through um, I just I, I didn't realize that that's what I had I came back and I and I had it already I my feet were starting to hurt my left foot this is just on one foot now I only have it on my left heel and my left foot but um, I noticed it my last couple days in San Francisco and it wasn't affecting me too bad it was a little bit but once I got back it just it got worse and worse until I started treating it so I'm icing it once or twice a day I have the special orthotics a little ibuprofen if the pain gets a little bit too severe some stretching things like that and I'm you know just over two months in and I'm I probably have at least another month to two months before I get back to normal so please if you're a street photographer the most important piece of equipment you have is what is on your feet if you have the greatest lenses and the greatest camera and and whatever um, it, do, it doesn't do you any good if you're at home because you know you're you, you got a foot injury or a leg injury or whatever so I hope that helps you leave me some comments below if you've been injured in street photography like a chronic injury not something where you you know maybe fell off a sidewalk and got hit by a bike or something like that 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 is a hazard of street photography obviously so leave me some comments below what kind of shoes do you wear what kind of a, you know orthotics do you wear what you know is it something you have just for street photography is just your normal stuff how do you find your body reacts to it when you do a lot of walking out there on the street so Give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you have not so far check out my links below I have a couple published books on Amazon for sale and I have a link to my street gear what I use when I go out and hit the streets um, leave me some comments or questions below otherwise I will check you soon with another video keep hitting, hitting the streets and keep shooting I'll see you out there in a couple months once I get healthy thanks bye bye